Hello, how you doing? This is Vince Hughes with Still Estimating Solutions. Uh, putting this uh, video together of uh, eTakeoff, which is a takeoff software to do your quantity takeoff. For, in this case, steel erection, what we're looking at here is a three-story building, uh, about 43,000 uh, 43, square foot. And just going to show you the benefits of uh, what eTakeoff can offer to do you a quantity takeoff in a very, very quick fashion. eTakeoff offers uh, some abilities that other takeoff softwares in the market can't do and really speeds up that process of the takeoff process uh, right now just running through there counting the columns uh, just doing a 100 percent quantity takeoff counting all beams columns i mean everything that's in the project it's going to kind of talk over this video as i'm doing the takeoff uh, i'm not really this fast as i've speeded up the video to make the takeoff process a little bit uh quicker so uh, you know in uh, lieu of the video itself so it's not so long it took me about 45 minutes to do this takeoff for the complete takeoff as well as getting the price through the still erection bid wizard so three th three story building 43,000 square foot 100 percent detailed takeoff from start to finish 45 minutes uh, some really great features inside of e-takeoff one we're seeing right now is the auto counting of the beams which really speeds up your process for erection it pops up formulate you know gives you a list of what's uh there and you can adjust the sensitivity you see some junks in there you have to remove but you can adjust the sensitivity to get it really dialed into what you're just uh you know wanting to take off sometimes on a project it's it's quicker just to count the pieces other than you know than doing the auto search but depending on the project and the quality of the drawings the auto search really speeds up that process for getting your all your beams counted because for pricing the still erection big wizard I do it by beam size by categories 6 to 10 12 to 14 16 to 21 so on and so forth and I do that because my production rates in the bid wizard include the bolts and as the beam gets bigger of course you're getting more bolts which gives us more labor in erection. So that's why I have the different quantities instead of just counting a beam as a piece. One really cool feature that eTakeoff does that no, no other uh, takeoff software can do is, uh, is your shear stud count. You know how painful it is to go through the drawings and count all the shear studs on every beam manually. In any other top software on the market, for the most part, you have to uh, still count those manually. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm counting the shear studs, and basically what I'm doing, once I select the shear stud on the left-hand side there, I just tell the system what the quantity of those shear studs are. And so here's a powerful thing right here. Right now, I'm counting a bunch of like shear studs that are 32. Once I count that row, then I'm simply going to copy that roll and paste it on other like shear studs of the count of 32. So basically I'm counting all those that total those shear studs for every one of those beams in in seconds really. Which that's one feature I think just in itself is worth the cost of the software, just the speed of being able to take off shear studs. And then when you had add, add everything else that you can do in the system, it's really a no brainer. I do have the, the system, the Still Erection Bid Wizard, but that is my software for pricing Still Erection. And I've integrated with many, many softwares out there uh, on screen takeoff, Blue Beam, Plan Swift, and then of course E Takeoff. E Takeoff off the, the latest one to my, prof, you know, to my portfolio of integrations. And the reason why I did that is I went with E Takeoff to, because I'm very, very impressed with what. It allows me to do on the back end. We also, right now, we're looking at a plugin. And what I mean by the plugin is you see all the tasks on the left hand side, which I think is the hardest thing about going digital is having to create all these tasks. When you purchase my program, the Still Erection Bid Wizard, I already create this library for you so that you have right away we plug it into the system, you upload drawings in the e takeoff, do the takeoff, export it out in the Still Erection Bid Wizard. And right out of the box, I mean, it's set up and ready to go. Another benefit of e-takeoff as well is it 
we've developed a plugin that will allow you to do a fab and a rect takeoff simultaneously, which I think is really powerful. Because typically when you're doing a fab, a little bit different than a rect takeoff, you're kind of having to do two takeoffs to get that complete. We're now inside of e takeoff with a plugin that we've developed for it for the fab and a rect. You can do both simultaneously, generating two separate reports. Just another thing to mention while we're going through this. Uh, I am a reseller of eTakeoff, as well as, of course, my software is still Rex and BidWizard. And I know a lot of guys wanting to transition into that digital world, you know, have a little bit of fear about doing that. And I just want to say, you know, here at Still Estimating Solutions, our goal is to help you transition to that, into that digital world. We're not just selling you a software. We're actually helping you make that transition. And the way I do that, make it pretty simple is you buy the software, we set it up, then we do a training. And in this training, we're going to be able to uh, share screens. I show you how to bring in the plans, show you how to set the scale, show you how to set up the detail sheets, show you, show you some best practices for, uh, you know, doing the takeoff itself. And what I do is record this session in a video and then once we're done, I send you that video so you have it to always fall back on. So, you can, you know, because we, we cover a lot of information during that training call. And that way, you know, when you forget a little bit, you can watch that video again and, you know, get pick up what you don't remember. And it also makes it a good tool to be able to hand on to other team members to do training for them as well. And one, once you get it, I mean, inside of eTakeoff, you look at there's all kinds of buttons everywhere. The reality, you don't need all those buttons. What I do is I teach you, as an erector, what you're going to need. You don't have to use that whole software, but I just simplify that whole learning curve. And I've seen people get pretty proficient within, a, I'll say, a week to two weeks. For somebody that has a desire to make that transition, you know, it takes about a week to two weeks. And then you're up and running, and it, it just gets better from there. Your speed starts picking up, and... You can easily start saving 50 to 60 percent of your time spent estimating, which this proves right here. I mean, it's a three-story building, pretty simple takeoff, but 45 minutes for full takeoff to price with my schedule built inside the Still Direction Bid Wizard, uh, schedule of values built for you. I mean, everything's done, and that this was done within 45 minutes. So you can really see the speed of uh, you know, what what it can do for you once you j jump into it and learn it. Real simple to navigate around in. You see me here taking off some stairways, some handrails. And you, you can just really fly through it and you know get yourself a quick, accurate takeoff. And what I like about it too is on a digital takeoff is it allows you, if it's not colored, it's not counted. So as you're going through that process, you can see what you've taken off, and it makes it a lot easier not to miss stuff. Let's run around it real quick, taking off the perimeter angle. When you come to the the decking, it doesn't matter the shape of the building, you're gonna get the exact square footage of the deck in seconds. And you see that little list that I just moved over. That little list just shows you everything that was taken off on that page. So it makes it a good, really cool checklist as well. Now we're jumping up on the roof. I think this is a cool feature too. You see that one, you know, those joists are all 30-foot joists. So I run through there and I count that one bay of joists. And, you know, this once again where speed comes with a digital takeoff. So I've counted that one. Now I'm simply just going to copy that one row in that one bay of joists and then paste in the other like bays. So I counted all them joists, 100% count. And once again, inside of my software, the Still Direction Bid Wizard, I to make the process of the takeoff as simple and easy and quick as possible, I've included in my production rates, for example, these bar joists, 
it includes the whole process, my production rates for labor, crane, and well time. So what for that joys for my in my software, the Steel Direction Bid Wizard, it includes the unload, shake out, set, weld, and put the bridging in for that bar joist. So if I just get a quantity takeoff of, of the joist, it includes that whole process. And that, that goes for every task that's in the Steel Direction Bid Wizard, which there's right at 300 of them that we as erectors install. But that, that just makes it a very, very quick way to get a quantity takeoff to price. And with that said, inside Steel Direction Bid Wizard, if you wanted to break things out and you know change it up, you have the ability to do that as well as far as production rates go. I mean, some people want to get really defined. For example, for a beam, they want to know how long it's going to take to shake it out in their estimate, how long it's going to take to unload, how long it's going to take to bolt, and how long to set. So that you know that's five different takeoffs or calculations you'd have to do where the way I look at it to get a quick takeoff, I want that whole process in one production rate, which is what the Steel Direction Bid Wizard gives you. So we're up on the roof right now. We're, we're almost uh, completed. Another really cool thing that I'll show you in just a minute that you can do an e-takeoff that you can't do in any other software. So for example, we have kickers going on two foot on center. If I was doing a takeoff in any other software, I would have to tell the system, uh, I'd have to go count if they're going every two foot. These kickers, I'd have to count every two foot all the way across that whole grid line. And what we're, I'm going to show you in a minute here inside of e-takeoff, it's just a matter of clicking on the task, which would be a kicker. And then I'm going to tell the system how, you know, how, what on centers are they? So are they two foot, are they four foot? And then it, it'll sit there and calculate it. What I'm running around right now doing is taking off the safety cable. I think this is a really cool feature as well, as well as safety posts, because it's going to, on the safety cable, it's going to tell me how many cable clamps I need to install that safety cable on that floor, which I think is awesome. It really uh, speeds up that process. It also tells me how many turnbuckles I might need. Safety posts will do the calculation for me right as well, right away as well. Tell me, you know, they're going on eight foot on centers. And the system will tell me how many posts I have to install without me having to do any calculation to that. And I think I, I it already went by for those kickers, but that that's a, I think that's a really cool feature on the kickers where it just sits there and you tell it it's two foot on centers, and now you're just going to go in there and you're going to click on one one grid line to the other grid line if it's 100 feet it's going to divide it by the two foot and tell you how many kickers you need on automation so we're about to come to the end of it we'll uh pull up a report that will go into the still erection bid wizard here in just a second There's a report, we export that out of the, and put it in Excel. And I took this building off by floor, which is really cool as well. Inside of Steel Direction Bid Wizard, you can get it priced by floor. So on this one, I've done it by second floor, third floor, and roof. And we'll open the Bid Wizard up now and start a new bid. And we come down to enter the task, we just got to set it up before we do the import. Type in, if, however we took it off by area or floor, type in second, third roof. And uh, then this one, I did the brace frame separate. Hit import. Select the app used to do the import. Navigate to that file. Click import. And now you'll see the task that come in. Simply come up to the top and uh, come to the top, add your... Uh, Crew size, come in and add your equipment, add your crane, it'll calculate your exact fuel cost, and then we're going to add in for, I have a new feature called the pro uh, weather projection, you select the start date of the job, the state you're in, and it goes into weatherbase.com and calculates how long you're going to be, uh, what the potential days of lost weather could be which I think is a really cool feature. And it pulls up a report, comes out in PDF or Excel. 
kind of puts everything in perspective. I got a demo video for the Steel Rexion Bid Wizard, but if you like what you're seeing and really like to have a conversation with you, you can reach me at 